I'll have some of what he's having. What's he having? He's having some frog fortitude. Yeah. Hello, YouTube. I'm Frogman Forever, and welcome to another episode of Frog Fortitude Atari Edition. This is Atari Edition number eight. We're playing a game called Beam Rider. I've never heard of this game. I looked up some great shoot 'em ups for the Atari 2600, and this is one that some people said was pretty good. So. I don't know. We'll we'll check it out. I'm gonna do up to f I'm gonna do anywhere between three to five attempts, and let's try to score as high as I can, and let's go. So let's see. Can I do anything? Okay, now I can. Oh, this is pretty neat. Hey, all right. All right. Hey, this is pretty cool. I like this. It's a uh, it's pretty straightforward. I, I can kind of. So you kind of like traveling within lanes, and you also have to watch out because there's enemies shooting right at you. Really neat, though. I like the I like the visual. This is pretty cool, like visually. It's almost uh, <laughs> it's almost trippy. It's like it's like you're gonna get sucked in with the game. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, I believe I'm still in my first life here. Okay, so, yeah, so it looks like th there's, like, you know, five lanes, you know, where the enemies can kind of go between them. And they can kind of travel back and forth within their lanes, and they can also retreat. And, uh, I guess there's a couple lanes on the outer, on the out-of-bounds area, area, lanes that I can't get to, that, uh, doesn't really matter. It's not going to affect me if they get to the very end. They're not going to be able to attack me. Uh, but neither will I be able to attack them. Uh, so it's pretty cool in that way because I don't have to feel like the sense of urgency that like... Oh, what the hell? It's the mothership. Oh. Okay, well, that's a death. That's my first death. Alright, yeah, it's it's hard for me to talk and then try to play it for the first time, but... Um, yeah, what I was trying to say is that like there's like two lanes on the out of bounds on the right and left, and uh, I can't I can't get to those, but neither can they get to me. So I guess I don't really have to worry about that. Um, pretty neat concept. They can kind of travel between lanes. Of course, it's harder for me to shoot them while they're mid lane, uh, since my fire seems to pretty much stick between the five rows. I could be wrong about that. I'll find out in the next attempt. So here's here's the second attempt. So that's my high score of all time, 660. Not very impressive, I'm sure, but let's jump right in. Let's try to beat 660. Okay. There's really not a lot of pressure to hit any of the targets in particular because they're not necessarily coming right for me. And even if they get to the end, and if, as long as I'm not in that same row, I'm fine. It's very uh, satisfying the sound uh, sound effects that occur when you actually d destroy one of them. It's like a huge explosion and the whole screen flashes red. It's really neat. Like just look at that. That's amazing. I've never heard of this game before, but it's really cool. I'm really enjoying this. All right, I think I already got my uh, high score there. I don't know what the purpose of that is. I can't really seem to shoot them. It looks like they, they have some missiles that I can't really take down. But looks like I made it to Sector 2. So I'm assuming that's level 2. And that is just so cool. I love the sound effects for the Atari 2600. Alright, again, nothing really threatening here. There's like some globs that, you know, I shoot at and don't, don't really seem to do anything. Um, but you still got the regular enemies that are very satisfying to destroy and just gotta make sure you don't get too close to them this is highly addicting I'm gonna really enjoy playing this for the next two weeks they, they are you know retreating a lot more uh, it's harder to actually hit them oh they got me there that was a good one well I'm so far at my high score I think I only died once in this attempt so pretty good score 1092 I wonder if there's more that I don't understand about this game I'm sure in time I can learn 
And actually, that's another thing I, I tend to do uh, during the two-week period when I'm practicing is I, you know, I try to see if there's anything about the game I don't understand. Kind of helps me boost my score in two weeks when I try to beat my on-camera high score and then even my off-camera high score. All right, so I think I'm down to one life here. Still doing better than my first attempt, but it's it's like really engaging. It's also kind of annoying that like they back off so easily, and sometimes it's hard to shoot them. Boom! But I'm just nitpicking. I guess in this phase, you really just have to survive, because I I can't hit that red ship. So whatever. All right, level three, sector three. Still my high score, still second attempt, 1380. I don't know what's happening, I guess I just gotta press the button to start it. Okay. So still doing still doing pretty good, I think. And these attempts, uh, this, uh, this second attempt is actually taking me longer than I thought, so... Maybe I'll only do three attempts. Or maybe just depending on time, maybe I'll just do two. But no, nah, I gotta do at least three, I mean... Got to set a worthy high score here. Yeah, I, it's like hard. Yeah, you can't really shoot uh, anything. Oh wow, that guy got me pretty good. I, I actually lost lost my concentration there for a minute. So I think that was my second attempt. Nineteen hundred points. That's my current high score. So I'm going to do at least one more attempt here. Let's just, you know, check and see how time goes. Um, yeah, that's what I was saying uh, before I got cut off with the with the stupid loss. Um, you can't shoot between lanes. So everything has to stay within the five columns. Which, you know, kind of makes it uh, more more basic and more simple of a game. So, All right, 1900. Let's see if I can hit 2000. That would be great. This is attempt three in this... Could be my last attempt, depending on time. I think it might be, unless I really screw this one up, and uh, <laughs> I desperately need to do a, a fourth take, a fourth attempt. I don't know what that was, but <laughs> I never saw that before. It was like a little red space invader-looking creature. But uh, maybe he had a lot more point value on him. And you can actually shoot him pretty far back. I don't think I'm looking at them far enough back to where I could probably kill them a lot sooner. I don't think you get any points by shooting those things that are coming at you. It didn't look like it, so... Alright, no problem. Sector 2. All right, so I'm gonna try to take some of the, take some of these guys down a little bit further away than I was before on my first two attempts. It doesn't do anything to shoot those. I I, I know that it doesn't do anything, but I'm I'm shooting at them because I'm trying to like learn. Um, about how to maximize score, you know, can I get some points by shooting them or not? You know, so just you have to do a little bit of experimentation. I should have moved right. I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking I could squeeze between the two. All right. It's kind of nice that it like waits for you to decide whenever you're ready before it just automatically takes off on you. That was kind of close. A lot of gunk in this level. I don't know why I'm bothering to shoot that. Maybe there is a way to shoot that thing, but you kind of have to squeeze past those like gunk things. I don't know. Alright, we're still doing good. We're in Sector 3. 
that is nice because you know a lot of Atari games they kind of just throw you in and then and then you pretty much have to just like go whether you're ready or not. This game kind of gives you a chance to click the button whenever you're ready to jump right in, so it's pretty cool. Kind of gives you little rests, which is nice. It'd be nice to have a little more variety as far as enemies that you can shoot, other than just these white dudes, but, um, you know, whatever. They're, they're still kind of challenging to hit, so not too bad. And... I hit 2,000, so that's a high score. So all three of my attempts, I got a personal best. I mean, obviously you're going to get a personal best in your first attempt. Because it's the first time you're ever playing it, but, you know. Alright, so I'm just going to play this one out until I get a game over. Alright, so I wonder if this going to change anything up in this section. It's an extra little target to shoot, I guess. I don't know. I didn't hit it, so I don't know what will happen. And I missed that one, too. Ah, darn. I want to see what it does. But man, it really is satisfying when you hit these guys. All right, wow, I'm doing a lot better. I'm at 30. I'm at 3,000. So I think I just was just under 2,000. My second attempt. All right, we're still going. We're still going. We got to make this happen. Make it happen. And keep going until we run out of lives. Okay, <laughs> I thought he was gonna get in front of the, <laughs> at the very last second. I decided to back off. Ooh, I don't know how many points I got there. I gotta check the replay. I am very curious to see how much that's worth. And again, I have. An I got another one, but I'm not. It's hard for me to tell how many points I get by shooting him because I'm not looking at how many I had before I shot him, so I don't know how many I get. 3690. Oh god. <laughs> I think I blinked for a second and just kind of Okay, I got one more life here. I'm going to scratch my face real quick. Hit the microphone. All right. Last last uh, life here. We're in Sector 5, by the way, which is pretty cool. I think they're worth 60 points each for the white ones, if I'm counting correctly. I think I'm getting a little more distracted with myself trying to count the points than to actually try to take down enemies and stuff. Alright, Sector 6 here. Still doing well. Doing like twice as good on my third attempt here. And I gotta keep going because I'm still in this. It looks like I got more lives, too. Wait, what did I do? I started a new game! What the hell? Oh, I pressed the start button instead of the A button. Well, that sucks. Oh, man. Well, I guess that's my on-camera high score, and I just have to take a mental note not to hit the start button. Well, that sucks. I could have probably scored a lot more than that. All right, well, I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh, well, I'll find out what my score was before I accidentally hit the start button like a dumbass. And uh, that's going to be my personal high score. i got to call it a video. I don't want this to get too long. But uh, thanks for watching. And next time, I'll try to beat whatever that score was. I'm sure I can do it since I was doing pretty good right then and there. And uh, maybe I'll even be able to beat my off-camera score that I'll be working on in these next two weeks.
Until then, thanks for watching. You take care. Bye-bye.